Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, I'm going to be taking the political compass test. Yeah, that's right. Bruh. The political compass test. <laughs> now, um, I've never taken this. Um, I've heard about it. I've seen it. I know that many, many people have taken it, that it's a popular thing, um, you know, to measure, I guess, uh, you know, where you fall on the political spectrum. Booby time. Um, so I said, you know what? Let's do something fun. Let's uh, take the test. Let's do it again live, I guess. You know what I mean? I'm recording this. I'm just doing one, uh, you know, uh, shot here. You know what I mean? Uh, one take as I usually do. And um, let's find out together what happens. Now, a quick little background on me. I, like I think most people, um, I grew up a uh, liberal and I've been liberal pretty much a good portion of my life until about 10 years ago when I started to, I don't know, realize, oh, wait a minute, things aren't what they seem to be. And then all of a sudden I started uh, questioning everything. I became very, uh, I don't know, I, I'm not a fan of the government, you know what I mean? Um, now I don't want to say anti-government because I feel like that's way too strong of a, of a word. Uh, but I'm not a fan of government, um, but I understand that we do need at least a little bit, tiny bit, somewhat, a semblance of it. Um, but at the end of the day, the point I'm making is that, um, like I was uh, talking on the podcast the other day, like I've said a few times before, I'm sure you've heard this before, I'm sure you feel this way already, um, where basically, if you are not, I mean, th yeah, the whole saying goes, if you are not far left, then you are far right right and that's basically it yeah sorry i had a little stumble there but yeah again you know i want to repeat that if you're not far left then you're basically you're just far right and um so many people so many people out there um you know again very liberal in their thinking and in their ways of living and yet no matter what um you're considered you know to be far right you know you could be you know a gay jew and uh you're considered a you know um yeah, what is it? Anti-Semite, um, anti-Semite, uh, gay basher. Bruh. You know what I mean? And I can go on and on. And, uh, you know, the ridiculousness of everything that, uh, this happened. So, you know, to me, you know, I guess in the traditional sense, I probably would have, uh, fit more into the, you know, back in the day, I guess more into like the liberal, um, but I guess the classical liberal, you know, live and let live. Um, I'm very, I love capitalism. I'm all, I'm all about capitalism. Um, but, you know, again, freedom, you know, freedom of expression, freedom of all kinds of things. And I can go on and on, you know, very little rules and regulations. And I can go on and on. So, um, in fact, I'm just going to take the test and we're going to find out together, I guess, where I fit on this uh, political compass. So, um, shall we? All right. So, let's see. Question number one. If economic globalization is inevitable, it should primar primarily serve humanity rather than the interest of transnational corporations. Um, so, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, okay, so let's uh, read that again. So, if economic globalization is inevitable, it should primarily serve humanity rather than the interests of transnational corpor corporations. Yeah, correct. I strongly agree. In fact, I talk about this a lot. You know what I mean? When I talk about like the whole uh, technological revolution that we're embarking upon right now and um, in which, you know, 100%, you know what I mean? You know, either, you know, we build... Uh, an amazing freedom future or we build even stronger chains than we have today so yeah you know what i mean i you know i i agree you know the whole and by the way we're already at a globalization you know right now people are watching me from all over the world probably on mars probably on the moon you're watching me from all over the place you know we already have become almost like a you know a seamless you know one world uh you know entity you know what i mean which is good but we still need to keep our, in my opinion, you know, our, you know what I mean, how do I say, identity, you know, cultural identity, um, you know, um, unique identity as a, an individual and all this other stuff. All right, let's keep going, you know, I'm going to keep, this is going to take a long time. <laughs> all right. Question number two, I'd always support my country, whether it was right or wrong, strongly disagree. Okay, because I love my country. I love my country. I'm American. 
you know, straight to the end, you know, straight to whatever. But, you know, my country, just like you, just like anyone out there, if you're doing something I don't agree with, I'm not going to stand by you no matter what. I'm going to tell you to your face. And um, if you don't change your ways, um, then, you know, we're going to have to part ways. So, you know, that's why I live in Mexico now. You know, because, you know, America's not behaving. He's not being a good friend, not being a good uh, country at the moment, at least in my opinion. So, you know, you know, move, move, uh, move uh, to uh, what is it? Treat, go where you're treated best. All right. Question number three. No one chooses their country of birth. So it's foolish to be proud of it. No, I strongly disagree. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, you can be proud of uh, where you're born, where you're from. I'm, I'm proud. I'm always going to be proud uh, that I'm from Miami, Florida, that I'm Cuban, proud and born and raised from, from, you know, 305. So, no, I strongly disagree there. All right. Next question. Our race has many superior qualities compared with other races. What do you mean our race? Huh? And what do you mean? I strongly disagree. Okay, um, because no one raised the superior, despite what you're hearing out there. All right, so uh, are we the baddies? Strongly disagree. Okay, so again, our race has many superior qualities compared with other races. <laughs> How dare you? I don't know. Strongly disagree. Okay, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. No. No, strongly disagree because I'm not one of those guys either. You know what I mean? That it's uh, I'm not one of those guys uh, um, that has, for example, um, I'm, I have a lot of enemies, I'm sure. A lot of people that hate me, but I don't really hate anybody and I really don't have any enemies in that sense, you know, where, you know, I'm going after anyone and I'm never going to go after anyone for any kind of reason. So um, the whole enemy of my enemy, you know, is my friend. I don't know, because I'm not really out there plotting things and, you know, doing mafioso stuff. Now, you know, yeah, granted, I, you know, just because of the things that I do in the life that I live and the way that I was brought up, in a sense, you know, the whole idea of uh, keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. Yeah, you know what I mean? I do, you know, participate in that, but I don't know if that what this means. So the enemy of my enemy is my friend... I don't know, I'm going to go with just disagree on that. I don't know because, you know, again, I'm not out there trying to be, you know, <clears throat> networking with all kinds of people just to fuck with somebody or mess with somebody or anything like that. So, you know, I mean, next question. Military action that defies international law is sometimes justified. Strongly disagree. You know, again, um, you know, basic international law when it comes to war is... Uh, you know, how do I say it? It's like, um, if you get attacked, <laughs> you can attack back. So that's basically the only way I find uh, war would be necessary is if uh, some foreign entity attacks us. Okay. And um, that would be the only, uh, you know, really reason to wage war. So military action that defies international law is sometimes justified. Strongly disagree. There is now a next question. There is now a worrying fusion of information and entertainment. Pass way. Take a few steps back. I strongly agree, but I don't know. Strongly disagree. I mean, see now there is a is there a worrying fusion of information and entertainment? You uh, ain't got the answers, man. Worry. You ain't got the answers. I, I say strongly disagree because this what you're watching right now, what you're. You know, this whole video that you're watching right now, this would be a fusion of information and entertainment. So is it worrying to me? Not really. Not really. It's actually very encouraging. So I'm going to strongly disagree on this one. Okay. You like that? The next page. You like that? People, next question, okay? People are ultimately divided more by class than by nationality. Mm, I would say I strongly agree. You know, that's just the reality of it. You know what I mean? Whether, depending on the country you're in, whether it's a caste system or, you know, whether it's uh, basically rich, poor, um, you know, haves, have nots. That's, you know, you go around the world. You know, a lot of people think it's just white and black people, white and brown people, but no, 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 no. If you go to many places around the world, it's black people versus brown people, brown people versus brown people, black people versus blacker people, the white people versus white people, you know, black people versus white people, 
Um, and I can go on and on. You know, it's a, it's a mix, you know. So, eh, I don't know about that. So, um, yeah, then, you know, I, 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 as people are ultimately divided more by class than nationality. Yes. Yeah. Because nationality, basically, it's more like sports. You know what I mean? Like, my team is better than your team. Like, literally sports. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, my soccer team is better than your soccer team. So, And I think that's as far as it goes. You know, because uh, let's say two countries like Cuba, Puerto Rico, Uruguay, Argentina, United States, Canada. You know, you could have like a... You get what I'm saying? Like, uh, how do I say? It's like a, a rivalry, but it's not It's not going to get to a point where you hate each other. I'm sure it exists, but it's not the normal. At least what I think. Okay, so, but no, I'm going to go... Start. Okay, all right, next question. <laughs> controlling inflation is more important than controlling unemployment. Um, I'm going to strongly... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to agree... No, no, wait, yeah, yeah. Controlling inflation is more important than controlling unemployment because controlling inflation literally means um, no printing of money. You know, the less money they print and the less, uh, you know, of all that uh, f- funny business that I talk about on the channel all the time. So, um, you know, but again, I don't know what that really means. I mean, honestly, you know, them controlling inflation is what they're doing now by printing a lot of money. So it's just, I don't know, that, that's worded very, mm. um, and then, I don't know, controlling unemployment. You can't really control unemployment. You know, contr- I mean, that's, again, it's all kind of like with the same token, you know, right now with all the things that they're doing, you know, they are, you know, trying to control inflation and at the same time trying to control unemployment. So... <sighs> I don't know. I don't even know. Disagree? Agree? What's more important? Uh, controlling? Neither one. I mean, they shouldn't be doing either, honestly. But I would say inflation, okay? So controlling inflation is... I'm going to just go with agree. Not strongly agree, just agree. All right, next question. Because corporations cannot be trusted to voluntarily protect the environment, they require regulation. Um... Again, I'm not a big fan of rule of regulation. I'm not a big fan of, uh, you know, again, rules, regulation, you know, all this other crap, you know. But um, in the case, in the case of, uh, you know, kind of protecting the environment, I'm going to agree a little bit because, again, from our past, you know, we've learned many times and we're still going through it today. Um, you know, the whole, um, if they're allowed to pollute and they're allowed to, you know, just pay a few fines here and there, um, they'll do it. And the pollution is, you know, very terrible for the planet. You know, that I'm not talking about climate change. It's another thing. I'm literally, pollution is a problem. It is a problem. So, I mean... I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go with agree, okay? Because it's like a soft, you know, there should be a little bit of some sort of accountability, some sort of regulation, but maybe not all the way. All right, next one. From each according, okay, from each according to his ability, to each according to his need, is fundamentally a good idea. What what are these fucking what are these fucking terms and, and things? Man? I don't even I never heard this shit. From each according to his ability. From each according to his need is a fundamentally, to, okay, for, okay. From each according to his ability to each according to his need is a fundamentally good idea. I, I don't know what the hell that means, man. I really don't know what that what that means. I'm I'm genuinely confused. I'm gonna go. I'm sorry. I'm just fucking. Um, I'm gonna go with disagree. Just disagree on that. Because I don't even know what that means. Because I think that the more ability you have, the more ability you have, the more you should, you know, you know, be a, you know, you, you know, you acquire more. So that's a good thing. Um, and that's it. It's not. It shouldn't be like the more you need, the more you should get. I mean, but I don't know. I'm just gonna go with the disagree. I don't. I don't even know what that. Okay. The freer the market, the freer the people. I strongly agree, strongly agree, 100% capitalist on, in this end. It's a sad reflection on our society, next question. It's a sad reflection on our society that something as basic as drinking water is now a bottled branded consumer product. No, strongly disagree. 
Bottled water is very, very necessary, unfortunately, in this world in which they're not regulating enough um, the people that pollute our waters. So we need, or they're, you know, over regulating to the point where they're polluting our waters. Don't get me started. Bruh. Um, in which we have to actually, you know, get bottled water. You know what I mean? Or, or and again, bottled water is a, it's a thing. You know what I mean? It's, it's actually needed. Okay. Let's just, uh, how many times have you needed bottles of water when you're on a trip? On, you know, I, I don't want to get it. Never go for retard. I'm a capitalist. All right. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right, next question. Land should, shouldn't be a commodity to be bought and sold. Um, I disagree. I mean, I, I think that everyone should have the right to land. But at the same time, you should also have the right to sell your land. Okay? So, yeah. You know what I mean? Land should, shouldn't be a commodity. No. I think you, could, you should be able to buy and sell. So, okay. Um... It is regrettable that many personal fortunes are made by people who simply manipulate money and contribute nothing to this to the their society. Yeah, I mean, again, it is regrettable that many personal fortunes are made by people who simply simply manipulate the markets and contribute nothing to the society. Um, yeah, I, I I mean, I strongly agree with that. I'm not a fan of the bankers, you know, and the whole banking class, unfortunately. So. Yeah, it is regrettable that many, yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? We know that's uh, the problem I talk about a lot and I wish we could fix. And I think uh, we are going to fix it with the whole Bitcoin cryptocurrency. Don't get me started. Next, next question. Protectionism is sometimes necessary in trade. I strongly disagree. Um, I don't think um, anyone should be bailed out. That's basically all that means. So no, no. The only next question, the only social responsibility of a company should be to deliver a profit to its shareholder. Again, I strongly disagree. You know what I mean? Um, you know, because the only I mean, the, the, first of all, that's not a social responsibility. And um, first of all, a, a company should, has no social responsibility unless they're selling some sort of fucking drug or some sort of, uh, you know, thing like that. Um, but for the most part, not really, you know, their, you know, social responsibility is to have, I guess, the best product out there possible. Um, because if their responsibility is only to make profit for the shareholders, that's when, again, you know, um, the product itself, uh, you know, um, fails to deliver the product itself. Um, you know, what is it like suffers? So no, um, when it's only about making profit for the shareholders, not a good idea. So no. The rich, next question, the rich are too highly taxed. Strongly disagree. In fact, the rich aren't taxed at all. Okay, every time that they say we're going to raise taxes and raise taxes on the rich, that means they're going to raise taxes on you. Okay, so that's it. The, the rich, anyone that's rich doesn't pay any tax because all they do is uh, pay uh, an accountant, you know, to do his taxes the right way, um, the legal way in which they don't have to pay taxes, but the poor, they're the ones that always end up paying the higher taxes. Every time they raise taxes for, for anyone, for anyone, because even if they raise taxes on the rich, um, like, oh, we're raising taxes on people making over 10 million. The reality is that those people are the ones that are giving you your job and then they're just going to pass that tax on to you. So every single tax that is passed, you the poor, Middle class, pay for it. Bruh. Next question. Those with the ability to pay should have access to higher standards of medical care. I mean, I agree. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I, I like the, hold on. Those with the ability to, to pay should have, I, yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? It's just, I mean, look, in Mexico, it's a pay to play. Um, they have all kinds of hospitals. They got everywhere from a free hospital, okay, all the way to the most expensive, you know, uh, you know, awesome hospital. But it's all by capitalism. So, you know, even the poorest motherfucker, you know, even the poorest person out there, they can raise enough money and take their loved one to the rich hospital. So, um, and it's not out of their reach as opposed to, you know, a place like the U.S. So I, I think this question is very different depending on where you're coming from with this. Um, but in my estimation, um, yeah, you know what I mean? Honestly, you know what I mean? If you, if you want to pay more, you know what I mean? If you want to pay for more, if you want to pay for more, uh, whatchamacallit, um, better care, then yeah, you know what I mean? For sure, you know what I mean? Like, uh, but again, I, I think that in a civilized uh, society, in a society in which uh, 
you know, it's one, uh, you know, I mean, we're, we're, yeah, you know, we're like first world type thing that everyone should have at least, you know, basic to, you know, updated, you know, um, healthcare, you know what I mean? So anyways, next question, government should penalize businesses that mislead the public. Yeah, I, I, this, I strongly agree. I strongly agree. You know, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'm not a fan of those kind of business practices at all. So if, um, if a company is out there, you know, doing some horrible, horrible things and that's where, that's where the government is supposed to step in for the people, you know? Um, so I mean, the people can also boycott and there's all the things that people can do. Um, but yeah, you know, definitely, you know, the government, I think should, uh, you know, step in, you know, because anyways, uh, next question, a genuine free market requires restrictions on the ability of the predator multinationals to create monopolies. A genuine free market requires restrictions on the ability of the predator multi... No, no, that's not a, that's not a free market at all. That's not, that doesn't sound like a free market at all. Um, so, no, I strongly disagree. Yeah, I don't, that question is, uh, anyway, so no, no, strongly disagree. Let me see, page three. Okay, um, abortion. When the woman's life is not threatened, should always be illegal. No, 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 You know, again, people should be able to do whatever they want to do with their bodies, okay? It is what it is, you know what I mean? Uh, so, abortion, when the woman's life is not threatened, should always be Illegal. No, I strongly disagree, you know, because there's a million reasons why you need an abortion. I don't want to get down that, you know, so I'm pro abortion, you know, whatever a woman wants to do, you know. Um, but again, there's a million reasons why that has to come up and you can't just restrict it to certain reasons as to whether you can get it or not. So um, next question. All authority should be questioned. Strongly disagree. Is there is there anything even higher than strongly agree? Um, yes, all authority should be questioned at all times, constantly, without, yes, yes, you know, you must question authority constantly, always, never relinquish. For what? Arresting me for what? I'm not allowed to stand up for myself? I thought this was America, huh? Isn't this America? I'm sorry, I thought this was America. Because again, if they are really, if they really do have your best interest, they should have no problem in answering any of your questions or your concerns. Correct. Okay. Next, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Um, I'm gonna go with agree. Again, I'm not a guy that goes after people revenge and whatever. But yeah, you know what I mean. Sometimes, yeah, you know what I mean. Especially if you're you know, in close proximity, you know, uh, per se, you know what I mean? Uh, pun intended to what they were saying there, uh, you know, eye for an eye. So yeah, if you're close enough, you know, the guy punches your eye, you can punch him back, definitely, you know? So, um, but at the same time, you know, sometimes it's best to just take that punch and walk away. So I'm gonna just go with agree on that one, not 100%. Uh, next question. Taxpayers should not be expected to prop up any threat theaters or okay theaters or museums that cannot survive on a commercial basis okay taxpayers okay let me read that again taxpayers should not be expected to prop up any theaters or museums that cannot survive in the no i mean i strongly i mean i'm just go with disagree because it all just depends i mean if uh, you pay your taxes in your town community area whatever and those taxes were meant to go for that and yeah whatever you know that's what you want to pay money for um but i think that there's other ways in which you can support things like that but you know yeah, no, I, I honestly, I think that, you know, um, that's one of the few things if you are collecting tax, I'm not a big tax guy. I'm, I hate taxes. Okay. But if you are going to be collecting taxes and yeah, th that's what the taxes are for. You know what I mean? Things like museums and helping, you know, keeping the culture in the community and uh, all kinds of uh, uh, community activities and uh, fixing the roads and all this other stuff, as opposed to putting that money in the pocket of said uh, pol politician, which is what usually happens. So yeah, I'm just going to go with disagree there because, you know, I mean, it's not, it's not about the unexpected, you know, um, you know what? I'm going to go with the agree. I'm sorry. Taxpayers should not be expected. Yeah, because you shouldn't be expected to pay any tax. Okay. So you like that? You right. like that? 
So school should next question schools should not be should not make classroom attendance compulsory. I strongly agree. If you don't want to go to school, you don't belong in school, man. Go go learn a trade, learn a way to survive and feed your family. Not everyone's meant for school. So I'm going to strongly agree on that one. All people have their next question. All people have their rights, but it is better for all of us that different sorts of people should keep to their own kind. No, I strongly disagree. I don't even know what the hell, man. This just sounds very racist, actually. <laughs> Are we the baddies? It's like, all people have their rights, but it is better for all of us that different sorts of people should keep on to their own kind. Yeah, I don't know. That sounds pretty racist. Anyways, all right. Next question. Good parents sometimes have to spank their children. You know, again, you know, um, I'm going to just disagree because it's an, I don't know about the whole good parents but you know if you want to spank your children you can spank your children uh, you don't have to spank your children I'm not a spank your children kind of guy um, I think that there's other ways you know that are a lot better at uh, teaching a, a lesson to your you know child or whatever um, but at the end of the day um, yeah I don't know I'm just I'm just gonna disagree on that because again the whole good parents thing you know I don't like the wording on these uh, I don't like the wording on a lot of these questions by the way are we the baddies? Anyways, all right. Next question. It's natural for children to keep some secrets from their parents. Yeah, strongly agree, man. Strongly agree. It's being a kid. Next question. Possessing marijuana for personal use should not be a criminal offense. I strongly agree. Strongly agree. And next question. The prime function of schooling should be to equip the future generation to find jobs. I strongly agree. I mean, not just to find jobs, but to find careers, to find meaning, to find all these things. But yeah, you know, we fail a lot of our generation today, a lot of our kids today, because, you know, basically uh, some kids are like, I just want to be a plumber, electrician, construction worker, whatever. And we look down upon that, but we need those things and people want to be those things. And uh, so, you know, those are just regular jobs, I guess. You know what I mean, and then everything is a job. You know what I mean? If you're not choosing something like uh, what I choose, you know, which is like entrepreneurship or art, you know, kind of like that. If you're choosing like art, entrepreneurship, that's a completely different animal. But for the most part, yeah, you're basically looking for something you love, turning into a job and, you know, hope, you know, just survive in the next 30, 40 years, I guess. I don't know. Bruh. <laughs> Anyways, so... Yeah, we're going to go with uh, strongly agree because, you know, schooling, if there's going to be school for something, it should be to teach you something useful. So next question. People with serious inheritable disabilities should not be allowed to reproduce. Eh, strongly disagree, man. Hey, if you can make it happen, you can make it happen. Everybody knows you never go full retard. That's it. Look at Forrest Gump, you know. You went full retard. So man. next question. The most important thing for children to learn is to accept discipline. I agree. I agree. Discipline is very, very, very important. Um, I, that was one of the main things that made me such a, I don't know, like a good, I don't know. It helped me a lot. Me and my sister. Um, discipline is a major, major plus. Um, not too much discipline to the point of, you know, taking the, you know, you know again, to the point of horribleness there. <laughs> some car or some noise, sorry about that. Anyways, but yeah, but at the end of the day, no, the whole idea of uh, discipline is very, 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 in fact, um, kids need discipline, kids need boundaries, they need order, they need you to guide them, don't get me started, but yeah, no, I, I'm, you know, the most important thing for children to learn is discipline, it's one of the most important things, they do need discipline, okay, so I'm gonna agree, not, str not strongly agree, just agree, because discipline is a very, very important thing, you know what I mean, so, um, so yeah, all right, next question, there are no savage and civilized peoples. There are only different cultures. I agree. I'm not going to say no because there are savage cultures out there. And, you know, you might be thinking, oh, is he talking about like some native peoples in the middle of Africa? Well, actually, yes. But I'm also talking about like, I don't know, like the U.S., you know, or, you know, there's a lot of parts of the world right now where we're a bunch of savages. All right. So, yeah, no, um, there is no savage or civilized people. I think that that's all bullshit. You know what I mean? Because uh, we might think of ourselves as very civilized, but 
you know, from the looks of it, we're, we're pretty much, we're pretty savage, all right? And not in a good way, all right? So, mm, don't, you know, strongly disagree. I mean, strongly agree. There are no savage or civilized people. There are only different cultures and, yeah, different people. Yeah, yeah, strongly agree there. All right. There are, next question. There are, there are, okay. Those who are able to work and refuse the opportunity should not expect society support. I strongly agree. All right. No, I, no one should be supported to just be lazy. You want to be lazy? You can be lazy all you want, but no one should support you. No one should be forced to support you through any means. Okay. You want to be lazy? Be lazy. It's okay. All right. But no, no, bad. All right, next question. When you are troubled, it's better not to think about it, but to keep busy with more careful, more cheerful things. Uh, I'm going to disagree. I'm going to disagree. You know, if you got, you're got you dealing with some shit, you got to deal with some shit. You know what I mean, you can't be ignoring it and putting it under the rug. Eventually, that's going to, you know, manifest as something way worse. So, no. Next question. First generation immigrants can never be fully integrated within their new country. You know what? I, maybe in other countries, but not in the U.S. I strongly disagree. No way. The U.S. is, I mean, some of the most American Americans are those immigrants that just come off the boat and they're so happy. So happy. I love it. America. I love it. I love it. No, you kidding me? No, that is America. You know what I mean? Uh, other countries, yeah, for sure. You know I mean, like, for example, I live in Mexico. Eventually, I'm going to be a citizen. I want to live here. I love it here, but I'm never going to be fully 100% Mexican. You get what I'm saying? Now, um, if I was the immigrant, you know what I mean? If I was an immigrant going into America and the U.S. and living in the U.S., like immediately, like just getting off the boat and waving my little American flag and, you know, being proud to be an American, that's it. You are American. That is America. So that's, you know, so at least me as an American, um, as an American, yeah, I'm going to go with that. You know what I mean? First generation immigrants can never be fully integrated with a new country. I disagree. I disagree with America at least. So, um, my experience. Okay, next question. What's good for the most successful corporation is always ultimately good for all of us. Strongly disagree. Are you kidding me here? So what's good for the most successful corporation is always ultimately... No, no. What's good for the corporation is not good for you. All right, next question. You're not a corp... I mean, it's not even the same thing. Two different entities. Next question. No broadcasting institution... However, independent its content should receive public funding. Strongly agree. Strongly agree. You know what I mean? Strongly agree. All right. No, you know what? Disagree. We we should have some sort of um, government news or website or informative. So no, we do need some sort of version of uh, PBS or you know the government websites as inept as they might be and those other stuff. So no, disagree. No broadcasting institution, however, independent its content should receive public. Um, no, you know what? I think they mean broadcasting institution. I'm going to turn the air on. It's getting hot in here, guys. Sorry. Hopefully it doesn't mess up uh, the volume too much here. But anyways... No broadcasting institution, however independent its content, shouldn't receive public funding. I agree. I agree. I think they're just talking about independent news and stuff like that. Oh, man. I think that's going to be too loud. I'm just going to deal with the heat. I don't want it to mess the... Anyway, so this is the difficulties of making a video, okay? Uh, we're going through one shot here. Okay, so we're just going to go agree. Next one, next one. Let's see if we can rush through the end of this. Page four. Oh, my God. No, God! Okay, next question. Our civil liberties are being excessively curbed in the name of counterterrorism. I strongly agree. A significant advantage of one party state... Man, it's already been over half an hour. Man, that was a long video. All right, a significantly a significant advantage of a one-party state is that it avoids all the arguments that delay progress in a democratic political system. A significant advantage of a one-party state is that it avoids all the arguments that delay progress in a democratic. I strongly disagree. I mean, because again, one-party state—that's communism. You know what I mean? That's that's what that is. So. You know, there is no democratic process. It's uh, basically, you know, we say this and this is what's going to happen and you're going to have to deal with it. That's it. 
So, although the electro okay, next question. Although the electronic gauge makes official surveillance easier, only wrongdoers need to be worried. Strongly disagree. Anyways, next question. The death penalty should be an option for the most serious crimes. You know, I strongly disagree. I think that, again, you know, no matter how serious the crime, uh, it's uh, more torturous to live your whole life in prison, okay, as opposed to just ending your life. That's like the easy way out. So I strongly disagree. Not a, not a fan of the death penalty. In a civilized society, one must always have people above to be obeyed and people below to be commanded. I agree. We do need a hierarchy, 100%. I, you know, without a hierarchy, there's no structure. Hierarchies are inevitable because we have to solve complex problems and we have to solve them socially. And when you implement a solution to a complex problem socially, you produce a hierarchy because some people are better at the implementation than others. So there's a hierarchy of competence and then there's a hierarchy of distribution of the spoils. And so and in both of those hierarchies, you get a disproportionate clumping of resources at the top and dispossession at the bottom. It's in the nature of hierarchies. Next question. Abstract art that doesn't represent anything shouldn't be considered art at all. Strongly disagree. Next question. In criminal justice, punishment should be more important than rehabilitation. Strongly disagree. Okay, again, you know, punishment should be more important. No. It is a next question. It is a waste of time to try to rehabilitate criminals. Strongly disagree. You don't disagree. It says some criminals. It is a waste of time to try to re rehabilitate, rehab, rehab, rehab some criminals. Disagree. Disagree. Now, you know what? Strongly disagree. You got you to gotta at least try with everybody. Be interested what's in that mind. All right. Next question. The business person and the manufacturer are more important than the writer and the artist. Strongly disagree. Everybody is equally as important. Everybody has their role in society. All right. Next question. Mothers may have careers, but their first duty is to be homemakers. Um, agree. Their first duty is to be a mother. All right. That's it. But I agree. You know, they're for, I mean, and then homemakers part of it. The man's supposed to be the man. The woman's supposed to be the woman. But, you know, those roles um, nowadays, you know, um, you know, again, um, they can be a little interchangeable. But at the end of the day, I'm a strong believer that the woman needs to be the woman and the man, the man. So. Uh, OK, next question. Multinational companies are unethically exploiting the plant genetic resources for developing countries what multinational companies are unethically exploiting the plant genetic resource for developing countries i mean i'm gonna agree because they are doing that so i, I whatever all right next question make making peace with the establishment is an important aspect of maturity man get the fuck out of here with that shit Making peace with the establishment is an important aspect of maturity. For what? Arresting me for what? I'm not allowed to stand up for myself? I thought this was America. Huh? Isn't this America? I'm sorry, I thought this was America. Anyways, next page, right? Next question. Astrology, astrology, <laughs> astrology accurately explains many things. Strongly disagree. I'm gonna just go with, yeah, strongly. I mean, it explains like a little bit, like maybe five percent, maybe. But I'm not a, yeah. It, it's, I don't even, yeah, no. All right, astrology explains a little bit, not, not even. Next question. You cannot be moral without being religious. Strongly disagree. Charity is better than social security as a means of helping the genuinely disadvantaged. I, I, I strongly agree. I strongly agree. I, I mean, because right now, social security is, is social help is still not enough because that's, if there was, then why do we still need charities? I don't want to get into it. A um, little social help is not bad. A little social help is good. Um, but charity is definitely a million times better than any kind of, you know, social government program. 
Um, next question. Some people are naturally unlucky. Mm, disagree. Disagree. I think you create your own luck, good or bad. Okay. Next question. It is important that my child's school instills religious values. Mm, strongly disagree. I really am not a religious person. I'm not anti-religious, but I'm not a religious person. So to me, mm, doesn't matter. S next question. Sex outside of marriage is usually immoral. Strongly disagree. I'm very otherwise. Anyways, next question. A same-sex couple in a stable, loving relationship should not be excluded from the possibility of child adopt adoption. A same-sex couple in a stable, loving relationship. Sorry, there's like a cat like, literally having sex outside my freaking door right now. I don't know if you can hear it or not. I'm trying not to be distracted in the middle of this question. Anyways. All right, next, okay, let me read the question again. A same-sex couple in a stable, loving relationship should not be excluded from the possibility of child adoption. Yeah, exactly. They should not be, I strongly agree. I strongly agree, you know? I'm not, I got nothing wrong with gay couples or gay people or nothing like that, all right? I do have a problem with, uh, you know, the whole story time. You know, what is it? The uh, Anyways, I don't want to get into that. You know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, Moving on. Next question. Pornography depicting consenting adults should be legal for the adult population. Yeah, strongly agree. I mean, I'm not a, you know, I'm going to go with agree. You know, maybe not. It just it's strongly agree. Adults can make their own decisions. Freedom, 100%. We'll go, what, next question. What goes on in the privacy? Uh, what goes on in a private bedroom between consenting adults is no business of the state. I 1 million percent agree. The hell does this, the government have to do with what I do in my house? Next question. No one can freely... Wait, sorry. No one can feel naturally homosexual. I don't even, I don't even know what the hell that means. <laughs> I don't really like the way those questions are formulated. You know, I don't know what that means. I'm going to go with disagree. Because I don't know. Next question. These days, openness about sex has gone too far. I agree. I agree. A little bit. Not a lot. I mean, I, I think it all should be open and in the wild, but not so open that you're walking your kid, you know, in the park, you know, and all of a sudden you get like a, a gay drag show in the middle of the, and then you get to explain to your kid what all that's about. I'm not a fan of that. Or people taking their kids to the drag shows and, you know, um, at three, it was like a two o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday night. Anyways, so we're done. All right, we're done with the test. Now, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to take a quick little pause real quick because it is a million degrees in this room because I have to keep all the fans off so that I can record and I've been recording for a long time. So I'm gonna take a quick little pause, about two seconds, um, and then I'm gonna come back after I'm nice and refreshed. So um, without, and then when we get back, I'm gonna click on this button right here, see? Where it says, as soon as I click on that, I want to click on it so bad. Look, I'm going to click, click. I'm not going to click on it, though. You're going to have to wait. See you guys in a second. A few inches later. Oh, hey. And we're back. All right, let's, uh, let's get to this, all right? Let's uh, see if we can finish this video. I'm very, very curious. So uh, let's get that drum roll right now. See, uh, see how this all turns out? Because I'm ready to hit that button. We've all been waiting for it, so here it comes. Boom, 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 boom. All right, about the political compass. All right, the starting point of the, you know what, let's just see where it says, all right? So where, where am I? Is this it? No, hold on. Where's mine? Okay, my political compass. Your political compass is economic left, right. I'm right down the middle. <laughs> Social libertarian authorita authoritarianism. So I'm lazy. <laughs> Bruh. No, this is actually pretty good, man. Look at this. It's a little thumbnail, huh? <laughs> no, but anyways, um, 
So look at that. So I'm right in the middle here of left and right. Okay. And I'm all the way, I'm, 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 you know, I'm very, I'm not libertarian 100%, but I'm pretty close. I'm like halfway between libertarian and being right literally in the middle. Hmm. Well, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I mean, this is what I would have thought. I mean, if, if, I guess if I would have had to put myself on the, the compass itself, I probably would have picked somewhere down here. I'm actually really surprised it came right where it came. Do not come. Do not come. I'm going to come. Oh. You're right there in the middle. So, I don't know, should we read it a little bit? Okay, so, see, North Korea, China is all the way up here. Saudi Arabia, Singapore... Uruguay, Switzerland. Where's the U.S.? How dare you! <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't think we should read this whole thing. I don't think it matters. I think we can figure it out. So, I mean, let's just go through it real quick. You know what I mean? So, you know, this is the authoritarian left. So, up here, up to the top left, that would be like Antifa. Okay? That would be the far left. So, over here is far right. Okay, the further right you go, that would be, you know, the Q supporters. The further left you go, that would be Antifa, Black Lives Matter, you know, the straight up, you know, 100% no matter what. And then down here, I guess, Libertarian left, what would that be? Um, and, well, I don't know. And Libertarian right. I mean, you know, libertarian left and right. I mean, you know, I guess it's pretty self-explanatory, you know, so. But yeah, there's not, I mean, I think a lot of people fall in the libertarian area. Um, but unfortunately, right now, we're just, you know, kind of delegated, relegated to like these top two left and right. Notice that they're blue and red. Bruh. Anyways. All right. So. That's pretty cool. That's pretty interesting. You know what I mean? Like uh, where I ended up. Huh? You know what I mean? So I guess that's my political compass. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I thought it was going to be a little bit more exciting, a little bit more uh, fanfare um, to, you know, this whole uh, reveal here. But um, I think that's it. Yeah, there's nothing else. I thought there was going to be a little bit more to the reveal here. But yeah, I guess I fall down here. I mean, I don't know what would be considered... Authority, I mean, libertarian left or libertarian right, but I guess that's most people nowadays, you know, if, unless you are far right or far left, you know, meaning unless you're, you know, part of the whole Q gang and, you know, you know, just, you know, thinking that Trump is still the president, um, that's far right. And then, you know, the whole Antifa, Black Lives Matter, you know, LGBTQ, WXYZ, XY, WXYZ movement, um, that's far left. And then, you know, anyone that's just regular left would be libertarian left. And then anyone that's regular right would be libertarian right. Um, and that's it. That's kind of like where it is. So I guess I fall right in the middle of the bottom section since I'm not nowhere near the top section. So I guess that makes sense. So, all right. Anyways, um, I think uh, that's going to do it for this episode. I know I did a very, very long episode already um, going through the questions. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Uh, it was actually a lot of fun. It was uh, a lot more fun than what I thought. Um, just towards the end, my brain was starting to get fried because it was getting so hot in here. But, you know, other than that, um, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it was a great episode, a lot of fun. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know where you guys fall on this political compass. I'm going to leave a link down below to this website in case you guys want to take the test and let me know where you guys fall. You guys can let me know. Um, I'm, I'm going to post my score along with the website and then you guys can uh, post your score um, alongside, you know what I mean, in the comment section to see where you guys fall in comparison and we can kind of like uh, compare and contrast. So I guess again, negative 574 right here, negative 13, I mean point 13, so it's like right in the middle, minus, but we'll be zero, zero, zero. So, all right, cool. All right, all right, guys. Well, thanks again. If you enjoyed this kind of content, you already know what to do. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon, but more importantly than anything else, 
please stay awesome. Please check out the rest of my channel, my other videos, my website, and all that good stuff. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy uh, the show. Um, see you guys on the next one. Bye.